Hey guys, welcome to Everyday Jewish Mom. I am home today with a sick kid. And if you're watching this because you're home with a sick kid, I feel your pain. It is rough hanging out with them when they're not feeling well. So I wanted to share with you some of my tricks for helping them feel better and helping to stay sane when you're at home. If my kids have a runny nose or a cough, steam is a great way to lessen that. And so this trick works whether you're dealing with babies or big kids. I like to steam up the bathroom. It works best in a small bathroom. Turn the shower on hot, as hot as it'll go. The best steam is actually at the top. So if you could bring in your kids height chair and just play with them in the height chair, that would be the best. For some extra decongesting power, I like to put in some eucalyptus essential oils. You just put a couple drops in the shower and it comes out with the steam. It's steamy in here. Yes. Can you do some deep breaths? Now the next thing that I wanted to talk about was how I deal with vomit. Especially when kids are little or vomiting repeatedly or vomiting at night or in the car. Um, getting them to a vomit in a toilet is just not something that's feasible. And so I know a lot of people use a pot or something like that. I like to use towels. As you can see, these are old towels that I've kept around. And it's nice because they can vomit in them. You kind of fold them over as they're doing it. You can wipe their face with them, toss it in a pile, wash it now or wash it in the morning. Also, I line, look at that. You can drape towels on their pillow. Oh, look, we've got dirty laundry and some books. Um, I draped a towel on her pillow and put a towel next to her bed. My kids, oh, thank you. You were cooking for me? Thanks, Bob. When my daughter is vomiting at night and vomiting repeatedly, all she wants to do is sleep and I want her to sleep. And so she knows that she can kind of roll over vomit quickly into a towel and roll back and fall asleep again and so it kind of minimally disturbs her sleep towels are meant to be absorbent and they're meant to be washed and it works out really well for us i actually got this idea from maya bialik she wrote an article for kveller about this like years ago so i will find that and i will put it below in case you want to know how maya bialik deals with vomit if you have to pick up a prescription for your kid and they're with you, I'd recommend using a pharmacy that has a drive through But if you're able to go inside, I definitely recommend using one that's in a grocery store or in Target. That'll allow you to pick up the other things that you need. Extra Tylenol, juice boxes. It's like the only time that I let my kids have juice boxes, but I just want to keep them hydrated. Maybe a humidifier. And also pick something easy up for dinner. Staying at home with your kids when they're not feeling well is so exhausting. Not only is there that frustration that like your plans for the day got messed up. I know I'm not the only one who feels that way. Um, but you know, you're being exposed to all those germs. Your kids are whiny and cry. You feel bad for them, but it's also like really emotionally taxing for me to have them just so upset. And so it's time to, you know, treat yourself nice. Get comfy, get some comfortable clothes on. If the kids are in front of the TV, watch something on your computer for you. And order takeout, get an easy dinner. You know, cut yourself some slack. It's hard, it's hard being home with kids. Hang in there. My last piece of advice is to throw all of the rules out the window. My kid came home from school yesterday with a fever. She ate dinner, but hasn't eaten since then. And now it's one o'clock. So when I had to put her in the car for something else, we went out and got ice cream. And guess what? Now she's eating. So win plus I deserve it too. Well guys, I hope that your kids feel better soon. I put a whole bunch of links in the box below to products that I really have liked using when my kids aren't feeling well. Don't forget to follow me on social media, on Instagram and Facebook. If you have mom hacks for when your kids are feeling well, please share those with me and everyone else. Put them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. I have videos coming out every week.